Hey everyone, I know my last two videos are pretty wild for me, for um, especially the last one, but I want to explain a little bit of that. Uh, first of all, we're going to go through this noise complaint, and I'm going to pinpoint, I'm going to pin, point out a few things, a few, uh, several things to you, and we're not going to get all the way through it. I'm going to have to do... Um, uh, uh, several more videos, I'm sure, to even show you all the stuff that I've been finding. Um, thanks to uh, Embry. Thanks, I appreciate that. Appreciate that very much. Um, I do believe that those they had a, those people had a part in it. I also believe if some other things as well that happened prior to them having a part in it. And think about Caden. Think about Caden. How he oh, he OD'd right. Um, at the hands, you know, getting the stuff, getting the stuff from you know who, from Emma Bailey and Demetrius. Well, then he went to the hospital, which how they let him out of there, and then he, then he ended up dying anyway is crazy to me because that particular hospital doesn't do that. I mean, they're well known for being, yeah, it just is really weird. Anyway, so think about that with, with these guys, with these. With, you know, the, with that, I don't know, with Ethan and Xana and Maddie and Kaylee, because I'm not saying all of them, but I believe a couple of them. I'm thinking Maddie and Ethan and possibly Xana at this point. Kaylee might have been the only one that didn't OD. And you know what? I think Pete did too. He just ended up being, stay, you know, living through the whole thing. And I don't think they're the only ones. I think that there was a bad batch of stuff. And I think that that, that I feel, what I feel like is that that, it's all my speculation, pure speculation, all my opinion. But I feel like that batch was meant for certain people, right? Maybe not, maybe so, but uh, but even even the grub truck, holy moly. <sighs> There's so much code and and these code words and stuff at the grub truck, it's mind boggling. Right down to the sprinkles, the crunchies on top of your of your uh, mac and cheese if you want them, if you don't. If you mention them, sure. They're the dessert burritos. They're a little special. Those those dessert burritos are special, very special. <sighs> okay. With that said, that'll be another video. So this video I'm going to start with. It's actually the guy you know where Rosendahl and Green Casey Green, who's now retired, Rosendahl, who just got onto the police force in uh, December of 2021, I believe. And he came from, well, he, he lived here. He grew up in the Christ Church. He went, he, he went to grade school, high school, middle school, high school, even college, all through at the Christ Church. His parents do missionary work. His dad was a post, post office, post, postal service guy. He was a postman. And um, I don't know what his mom did, but with the, you know, the kids and probably, probably stayed home and took care of them is what I'm thinking. But I could be wrong. Well, Rosendahl, he ended up going to Bellingham, Washington, which is also a college town. Very, very close to the border of Canada. 
very close. And he only was there for about a year and a half. And then it says that he came back to be closer to his family. Mm, I kind of think maybe he, he, my, how I feel is that there was things are being set up in, in locations for moving things is how it feels to me. And the reason it feels like that to me is because of the locations that everybody involved in this case has lived. Every last living hub, every tree, you just, I mean, it you just nails every single one of them. Oregon, Colorado, Montana, like literally all these places. It's nuts. It's so crazy. I've never seen anything like it. So... Anyway, so he comes back, and then all of a sudden he's got a job at this in this town, with a, at a, at the cop shop that his church, Doug Wilson, is fighting with at the at the time because of Stickergate, because of the mask the mask mandate. I mean, they're in a they're in a knockdown drag down out war because they somehow lost the body cam footage. Go figure. Go figure. They also put an underage person in custody and did not did not have an adult present when questioned. Not a family family figure, nothing. And they were the the grandkids of none other than Doug Wilson. You think Doug was a little bit pissed? No, he was a lot pissed. Okay, you know that million dollars that the that uh, Ellie was a war, you know, given to for the to help with the the case, covering you know, covering security for the house, and you know, like um, therapy people, you know, therapists and stuff on on at school on on campus. And I think that's a great thing, but I don't think that's what they used it for. Well, I think three hundred thousand of it was used to pay the church because they were awarded that. Each one, there was three people, each one was awarded $100,000 for what for what Ellie did. And guess what? You know, just like, just like in this case, all of a sudden, that day when they go to court, the body cams, they just found them. Oh my God, they just found them. Same exact story. This has got to stop. And that damn uh, Stingray thing, if, if, if Kaylee was calling someone to help and her calls didn't go through because of them using that thing, then that's blood on their hands. Their hands. It should be on their hands all right, because, of what, because of using that thing in the first place. Do you know there's a police report out there just, just last week? This lady calls in and says there's a, va a white van that has two slider doors on either side of the van. They're both open, and there's a guy inside using something. He's got something in his hand, and he's wearing a cowboy hat. Go figure. You know the cowboys? The cowboy hat? What the hell is he doing? He's driving up and down the road very slowly, and then he stops at the stop sign or on the corner and sits there. Who's he trying to spy on? Is he playing with the stingray? Whatever that thing's called? When they use that thing, it mimics a cell phone tower. So what it does is it blocks the pings, the 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 whatever it does to connect your cell phone to a cell phone tower, it connects it to that thing, which in turn screws up all sorts of stuff in the system. And I believe that is why the university that night, remember they said it was out, like the, the Wi-Fi, the power, all that stuff was out. I think it's because of that stingray, because the cops were using it. Uh-huh. Since when do they get to play God? And, and actually just literally <sighs> deny us of our constitutional rights. Many of them all at once. I don't know. I don't know. <sighs> it 
In that one video on Linda Lane, someone's yelling at Emma to get her bag. I believe in her bag that she carries with her is Narcan. Because next you hear, get them, get the Narcan, get that Narcan. You hear that. I think both Pete and Ethan OD'd that night. Pete survived. Two other people OD'd. Actually, three other people OD'd that we know of because they were in the police reports. But I think there's plenty that we don't know of that, hap that happened that, that particular night. That would be, I think Pete would be the one that went to the hospital. He'd be one of them anyway. But I also believe there's another one. So you remember that notification that goes off on there? You hear that beep, beep. Then you hear, help me. And that's first when you first hear it, the, the, the person that you can hear at first, it, before any of that even comes up, and you, before you hear it, they have very labored breathing. And they're, they're, they're having a hard time. And then it's about the same time that the guy from the dumpster at 3.15 comes up. So it's right before all that. You can, be, you can go hear it. So after he's having this labored breathing and he's, he's really having a hard time, you hear this almost like a fish out of water just, you know, blah, 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 thumping on the, on the ground. It sounds like someone's having a seizure. And I think that that person could possibly be maybe Ethan. I don't know. I don't know who it was. I don't know. I don't think it was Pete at that point. No, Ethan, he would no, Ethan would have been sooner than that. Never mind. It's so it was someone else then. Because that was at three. So I think the guy I think something had really bad was someone got a really bad batch. Something went around. And whether it was on purpose or or it just happened, I don't know. But with that last video that I listened to, it tells a story. I mean, they're even ta talking like those thumps I think you hear, uh, that we hear. I seriously, I have a headache today, actually, because of it. Because of listening so so hard and, and want, you know, wanting to just know exactly and changing it so I could hear certain things. Not much, just like reducing noise here and there. Because, th because that particular video... I don't know what, how the heck he recorded that or his uh, his new ones that he, he's done. But man, there's a lot of background noise. I mean, a lot. And it's loud. I mean, I, I mean, maybe the other people tweaked theirs before they put it on. I don't know, but wow, it's loud. Anyway, um, but you can hear it. It tells a story. And I, I, I believe that they're covering up overdoses. And they're doing it because they don't want... They don't want it written up like that. They're gonna they lose money. Do you know how much money they they lose if that happens? They don't lose it if someone gets murdered or if they take their own life, but they do if it involves that kind of thing. Then they're in trouble because then they're they've got this tainted name, right? And I think that's why when something happens to, I mean, Ethan, from what it was said in the beginning that he did this, that he did. This was sent in the beginning that he OD'd and that they brought him back over to the king house because they didn't want him at the frat house because it would look bad. And I think they relocate people all the time and put them in places that makes them look like they have passed with, it's a, for instance, Hudson. I think now that he OD'd. And I think they put him face down in that creek to make it look like something happened otherwise. And I think they do that a lot. A lot. Unbelievable. I don't know how they can live with themselves. I'm just really curious how if the parents know. I mean, I'm curious, yeah, if the parents know, if they know this. I mean, look at the way they act. There's something not right. And and not only that, there's so much more to this. This is just crazy. Okay, I'm just going to continue with this video, and I, I'll go into that next time I 
I just got done doing an art show and um, we've been down there for hours <laughs> and just packed up and I just could not wait to get back here to make this video because I really feel like I need to explain some things to you guys and show you some things. And that's my intention with that, you know, with that, um, that last video, I did, I, I would, that was an intention, intentional me hearing that when I heard that, not, not at all. I was not expecting that at all. And, you know, I think if it was intentional and those kids got something that messed them up like that, and then they were done, other stuff was done to them in order to make it look like a, like Brian Koberg or some mass murderer. Oh my God. My God. I never ever, seriously, thought that I would live to see a day like this. You know, like, you know, like Escape from New York and Thunderdome and Mad Max and that kind of stuff where you just, I mean, it's, uh, it's eye for an eye. It's, you just do what you can. I mean, you, you only have, you don't even have water rights anymore. You gotta, you gotta fight to the death for, for a drop, for a cup of water. That is what, I mean, you, are they fighting to the death for what? A fucking pe a, a buns in a seat? Oh my God. Yeah, I get it. Pays, it gets, it pays their paychecks. But they're doing it in such a way that it is even more disturbing than I ever thought it could be. First, they're lying to them if they get busted with something, right? They're not, they're not telling them the truth. They're making it out to be way worse, usually, with the, with the slighter cases than, it, than, it, than it's going to be. And then they get them in there as an informant. And then, once they're there, well, they're pretty much screwed. For many reasons. First of all, once an informant, I don't think you ever get out of the inform informant. And even if you did, it doesn't matter because the people you informed on are out, out for blood. Oh, you might not owe the cops anymore or the prosecution, but you're damn straight. You're going to be looked at with the people that you turned, you rolled on. Hands down. So whoever says that they're done after their, their check card or whatever, nah, no. I don't believe that for a second. And they, and they put you in such danger. I mean, if you were, I mean, I, you yeah, kind of have to just kind of put yourself there momentarily. But if you had something you were, you were selling and you wanted to make sure that you weren't going to get in trouble with it for it and the person that you were off, you know, passing it over to, you want to make sure that they were on the up and up. Wouldn't you make them take a sip of that? But, you know, whatever, that drink or whatever, or, or take a hit off that pipe or whatever to make sure that they are who they say they are? Well, a lot of times these kids become really hardcore drug addicts. And they weren't in the beginning. They had maybe had some weed they were smoking or they had, I mean, I'm not saying they all are like that or they all wouldn't be, be, become something, you know, do harsher things, or, but probably not. But if they're in this lifestyle where they are an informant and they have to make sure that people think that's who they are, then you're, sh I mean, yeah. They might just sniff that line up, in the, you know, just so they, so they didn't get put, un put six feet under by the person they were selling this to. So either way, you got the cops putting you in danger, putting you in that situation by lying to you most of the time. Making it way worse than it could than it what, what it's going to be. You might as well just spend your time and get it over with, because it's because it's a lot less dangerous than what they're going to put you through. And then you got that you got a stamp on your back, you got a big old X on your back, and it's not good, because it can be seen by everyone because they've got eyes for that. They got people that I from what I understand that just look for that. Jeez, man. Since when don't the, can't the cops do their jobs? They have to get kids involved? Young adults? 
just coming into life and just not even not even out of college yet. Sick. And I do believe, as you're going to see in this video right here, that I'm going to make, as I keep going here and show you these photographs I've taken still such screenshots of through this video, you're going to see that the cops know exactly what's going on in that town and that the fraternities, and not just one of them, there's a few of them in there, they are all involved in my opinion. And, they, and the cops know it, and the cops are letting him get away with it they're padding their pockets whatever they're doing but they all know and it's disturbing so disturbing oh my god okay i'll be back i'm actually just going to upload this one and then i'm going to start making it again because it's taken forever for me to make these well not well it's taking forever to make them too but it's taken forever to get them to upload because I don't have that much room on my phone right now at this time. And and I don't, with all I got to say, I don't have time to go in and, and, and detail it, as lack of better words. Um, clean out the fridge. <laughs> so I'm going to upload this one and I will be making them, the, I'll start another one. As soon as this is uploaded, I will be right on the other one. Because I will, because I need to get this out there. It's very important. It's very, very important. I think anyway. All right, you guys. Love you. Thank you for supporting me and and letting me talk. I mean, getting this out is important for all of us. All of us. And it's important more so for them. For Kaylee and Maddie and Zan and Ethan. Because, and all the other ones. All the other kids too. Young adults. All of them. Every single one of them did not deserve this. No, they did not. No. Okay. I'm going to let this go, and I'll be back ASAP. They'll upload quicker if they're a little shorter. I'll be back. Love you guys. Hope you're having a great day, and I hope your evening's even better. Bye.